Hi guys, Dr. Pam, Academic Coaching for World Changers. How are you today? I thought I'd take some time to drop in and just ask you some questions and maybe leave you with some tidbits of knowledge. Really, our only goal at Academic Coaching for World Changers is for you to get this stupid sheet of paper. You're out there. You're changing the world. I like it when you get paid for it. I also understand there are people that you'll never see until you get this license. So well, I'm going to ask you a couple of human growth and development questions. People seem to struggle with this area all the time. A lot of times it's knowing natural, normal human growth and development. And sometimes it's just making sure you know the content of what there is said what. Okay, so here's my question for you today. Freud's stages are psychosexual, while Erickson's stages are what? Okay, simple one line question, right? I'll repeat it again. It says that Freud's stages are psychosexual, sex baby. And Erickson's stages are what? Psychometric, psychodiagnostic, psychopharmacological, or psychopharmacological, wow, psychopharmacological, or psychosocial. So let's look at all four of those terms. Remember, I'm always going to make sure we know the vocabulary for all four of the terms. So it's asking me about uh, Erickson. So the first part asks about Freud. Freud's uh, psychosexual, oral, anal, phallic, latency, and gender, right? O-A-P-L-G and then Erickson stages. So my choices were A, psychometric, B, psychodiagnostic, C, psychopharmacological, or D, uh, psychosocial. Now we know that the answer is psychosocial, of course, right? Because Erickson was a psychosocial behaviorist. He was a follower of Freud. He actually went to school with Anna Freud. That's why we know those first three stages of Erickson line up with the first three stages of Freud. All the time I get asked, how do I memorize all those stages? How do I make sure I know Erickson stages? You really can't memorize them. You just have to know them. You really want to look at what stage you're in and then go up or down. But remember, you know the first three now. Trust versus mistrust it matches up with the oral stage. The second stage of Freud is anal, right? He said if you got uh, fixated in that stage, you'd walk around the rest of your life with maybe a little stubbornness, a really tight sphincter muscle. That lines up with the second stage, autonomy versus shame and doubt. I always think of potty training, right? The third stage of Freud, oral, anal, phallic. Phallic is where the electra, right? The girl is in love with her mother. I'm oh, sorry, the girl is in love with her father and the boy is in love with his mother. The boy is afraid that dad will find out and chop off his penis. Correct. Okay. So OAP. So that's Erickson's first stage, trust versus mistrust. Second stage is homie versus shame and doubt. And that third stage is initiative versus guilt. Ooh, look what I found. And I began to feel guilty because I found that toy box I got. So just a way to help you remember at least three of those stages. Oral, anal, phallic matches up with trust versus mistrust, Tommy versus shame and doubt, and initiative versus guilt. Good job, guys. Remember, we've got to learn those theorists. We've got to see those theorists in everyday life, in all of your questions, in all of your, uh, when you go to dinner, we've got to be able to see those stages and recognize them because on the test, they're not written that simply. I'm going to throw in some couple more questions on my human development people. Stay tuned for the next question. Bye guys and thanks for being a world changer.